all. I welcome you all once again for this episode of Metamorphize, a time to transform. The topic for today is Merciful God. Turn your Bible to James chapter 2 verse 13. James chapter 2 verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that hath shewed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. The impressive miracle on Mount Carmel with fire that came down from heaven showed the Israelites who the true God was. The Israelites slowly stood up from the ground and looked around in awe. The burned earth was all that remained as a reminder of what had happened. God had heard Elijah's prayer. But the shouting prophets of Baal had achieved nothing. Now it was quite clear to the people that Baal and all the other idols were not real. That they could not perform miracles or help people. Elijah ordered that the prophets of Baal all have to be killed. Many years before, God had made the following commands to protect his people and stop them from abandoning their faith. Whoever leads others into idolatry must be killed. King Ahab could only stand helplessly while all of these things happened on Mount Carmel. He realized that his people would not surely begin to put their trust in God. Elijah went up to him and said, Now you can have a feast of celebration because God is sending rain. I think I can already hear it coming. Elijah did not stop to eat anything, but rather looked for a peaceful place to kneel down and pray. After a while, he asked his servants, Go and look out to the sea and tell me what you observe. There is nothing. Elijah continued praying. And then he sent his servant out again. Still nothing, the servant reported. But Elijah was not discouraged. He knew that God would send rain because he had promised it. Elijah sent his servant to look out over the sea again and again. Finally, the seventh time, the servant reported, I can see a small cloud far from the horizon, no bigger than your hand. Elijah then jumped up and told his servant, Go catch up with the king and tell him to get ready in his chariot and ride quickly because the storm is fast approaching. The people around him must have been puzzled by Elijah's haste and commented to each other. What can a tiny cloud in the immense sky do? But Elijah could perceive more than others, more than they can see with their eyes. He trusted God's promise and was able to see what is going to happen. Sure enough, the tiny cloud grew into angry black clouds. Sharp winds swept over the mountain, bringing the storm with it. Lightning flashed and thunder rumbled. Then the rain clattered down to the ground. Many of the people who were walking down the mountain danced for joy and happily let the raindrops fall on their faces. Some of the youngest children cried out in amazement, Look, Mommy, water is falling down from the sky! Of course, the youngest children have never seen rain before because it had not rained for more than three years. Many people prayed out loud and sang songs of thanksgiving. And finally, Ahab hitched up his horses and mounted his chariot. It was almost dark before the king set out to Jezreel. The power of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran off ahead of the king's chariot the entire way to Jezreel. He did not become tired because God gave him that miraculous strength. Just think of all the things that the Lord had to make his people turn back to him and accept him as their God. All these miracles were acts of mercy, but the three years without rain was the greatest of them all. Many of the Israelites must have thought of the Eternal One during this drought of more than a thousand days. They certainly had time to ponder. This story shows that 
God's mercy towards his people is limitless. What a shame that we let him down so often. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Gracious Father, thank you for this time of study. Help us to understand that you are the one and true God. Help us to understand that you are merciful. Help us to understand that you will always help us no matter what. Help us to trust in you only and not in others. Help us not to forsake you or let you down often. Bless the ones who are watching and hearing us. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish to see you all in the next episode of Metamorphize. Until then, take time to transform. Bye.